I'm just going to address this clip of Billie Eilish being disgusted that TikTokers were at uh, the People's Choice. I was one of them. That would be Bryce Hall, who I'd never heard of before putting together the story, uh, giving his reaction on TikTok to Billie saying this to Kylie Minogue at the award show last night. Oh my From what I can make out, and the internet seems to agree with me, Billie says, I'm like, there's some like TikTokers here, over there, which is just, I don't need it. It's not particularly significant, but I can't make out the which is just part, but I don't want to put words into Billie's mouth, like say classifying it as she's saying she's disgusted that TikTokers were there. Billie Eilish being disgusted that TikTokers were at uh, the People's Choice? No, Billie simply said she's identified some TikTokers over there and she doesn't need them there. Billie Eilish, I am so sorry uh, that I didn't acknowledge your greatness and bow down to you being another human being. I, I Here, there it is. So Bryce has decided that Billie's comment is her identifying those individuals in the room who hadn't come over and bowed down at her throne. She's identified them as TikTokers and she doesn't need them there. That doesn't really make much sense, right? No, not much of what Bryce says makes much sense because I mean, 20 seconds after he mocks Stan culture, he says he's part of that culture. I was a Billie Eilish stan. I stand you, Billie Eilish. And now I don't think I can renegade to uh, any of your, your songs anymore. He definitely didn't use the word renegade properly in that sentence, but I mean, we all know what he's trying to get at here. And like, we know he didn't really think this through very far. <laughs> like he has one purpose here and it's not justice for TikTokers. But the most sad thing, let me just wipe my tear real quick. I'm not faulting the guy. It's a good self-promotional move, but I mean, let's just call it as it is. He's jumping on the opportunity of seizing this <laughs> Billie Eilish clip to raise his own profile. Billie identifying TikTokers at the People's Choice Awards and saying she doesn't need it isn't her hating on TikTokers. Like, I mean, she posts on TikTok all the time. She's just wondering why they're at the People's Choice Awards. It's like when people pointed out that Meryl Streep was at the Grammys. Wondering why she was there wasn't hating on Meryl Streep. There just wasn't an obvious reason why she was there. You don't have to apologize to me. Meryl Streep, yes. Meryl went because her son-in-law is Mark Ronson. He was nominated. I'm sure she thought, well, it'd be fun to go to the Grammys. Now, the People's Choice Award is not the award show that celebrities are going, it would be fun to go to the People's Choice Awards. No. Uh, everyone that attended People's Choice and was sitting at those tables, we were invited by People's Choice. So This is an award show that only winners and NBC employees show up for. Like People's Choice actually lets the winners know beforehand in hopes that they'll actually show up. <laughs> That's why Billy was there. There's no TikTok category at the People's Choice Awards. So yeah, so why are you there? I mean, we all know why you're there, because I mean, just to increase your profile and not to be seen by the other people that are there, because yeah, you didn't go up to Billy and say, oh my God, I'm a big fan of yours, bow down. No, <laughs> you didn't have the guts to do that. But you just want to be seen by other people on TikTok that you were there. Guess who's at People's Choice this year? And that's the only reason you're invited in the first place. Like, I mean, instead of having standard seat fillers, they could invite some TikTokers. People's Choice invited us, personally. And I bet your invite came with the stipulation or the strong suggestion that you do a TikTok at the event, which would raise the profile of the award show on TikTok. But like I said, good job at twisting Billy's clip and using it to your own advantage. And it's work. Because yeah, I'm doing a story on it. You're trending on Twitter. Now, I hope Billy doesn't reply to Bryce because she's done that before to someone on TikTok who criticized her outfit. And all it did was raise that person's profile. Bryce has already used you to do that here, Billy. And he admits that he's got nothing without you. Thanks for taking out all my content. So don't let him use you any further, Billy, okay? And what are your thoughts on Bryce's tearful response to Billy?